and it's working. Let's hope it keeps working. Hi everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope you guys have all liked um, the pictures that I posted that Alicia and I have taken of our travels in the Northwest America so far. I just picked up a Montana hat today because we're about to leave Montana, so I needed a memento. Hi everyone. Um, I am going to be going live with Ray and Jason, two friends of mine that I grew up with. I'll let them explain, hi Maddie. I'll let them explain um, where we kind of met and how we've all become friends. And they are RV lifers, um, and they have been for three years. Again, I'll let them explain all this, so let me just have them join. I am gonna turn off comments so you guys submit your questions to the question box, and we'll answer any questions you have about RVing, <laughs> or any questions you might have about some funny stories that have already happened uh, while me and Alicia have been RVing together. But okay, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, and I'm going to do Let's see if this works. Wi-Fi has not been my friend lately. Waiting for getaway couple. <gasps> Hi guys! Oh, nice. oh. I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're good. Yeah. We're good. Look at you with your picturesque background. We're just in our kitchen. Well, I had to find Wi-Fi somewhere, and we're, like, in between Montana on the way to Idaho, and I'm like, I have no idea. Pull over here. Let's see if we have Wi-Fi. Um, 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 do you want to explain how we met and, all like, how we're all friends? Sure. It's, I guess it's a little different for both of us. So I played high school soccer with you for two years before you left um, famous. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, and uh, I have a sister who played high school <laughs> soccer with both, and so yeah, yeah. she just showed me your house. Yeah, Didn't and now we're all... come over all the time, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and where are you guys right now? Are you guys still where I met up with you? Yep. Yes. Yeah, we'll so, be here through this weekend. Yeah, right outside of West Yellowstone. Which is where we all got to hang. Yes. <laughs> is it delayed for you guys at all, the video? A little bit, yeah. But that could be us. Okay. okay. Lots of people have come to Yellowstone for the fourth. Mm -hmm. Has it gotten packed since I left? Yeah, like like 10 times more, more people, definitely. At the spot you guys are at, actually? The boondocking uh, spot? Uh, here? But in town, yeah. anytime we go to town, it's okay. just packed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now explain to everyone what you guys, Getaway Couple and all the other companies you guys have, the YouTube channel, everything you guys do, explain that. <laughs> well, we hit the road in 2017, July of 2017, and we already had our Instagram account getaway couple because we just like to post all our travel pictures but we started our YouTube channel for our being because we just wanted to make videos that answered questions that we couldn't find when we were researching this lifestyle so we show and we also show a lot of mistakes and our mess ups yeah. <laughs> which just happened what made you guys decide to like sell your house and hit the road and RV so uh, we were actually originally looking into traveling over a fairly long honeymoon. We did like a month, a uh, month and a half, and we were in Italy and Greece. And we were just so, uh, it just kind of like changed something. Being away from work for, for that long, we need to travel. So we were actually planning on taking a uh, a year, like, off and just saving up money and traveling overseas and then we got a dog mm -hmm. and so we uh we were like well how do we travel with the dog like i was looking up like oh you can take a cruise ship from like new york to london and have the dog in a kennel and just all this crazy stuff and then we found our being and we're like oh we could do that and we can do it sooner without mm -hmm. having to save up and we we're both going to quit our jobs but hitting the road just Ray was able to quit her job and I can still work remotely. So. 
which is so nice. Yes. And what there was one of those questions that was asked in the question box is like, what do you guys do to make a living? Is it solely just off of the getaway couple now stuff, correct? Now it is. As of November of last year, um, Jason was able to end his contract and we're solely getaway couple, which is pretty wild to us. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, another question, since I've now seen your motorhome, and for everyone listening about your motorhome, is your motorhome is a house. Like, it's not even, and I'm probably using the wrong terminology, too, but, like, I walked in, and me and Alicia haven't stopped talking about it since we saw it. That Oh, and here's Alicia, by the way. Hi, Alicia! <laughs> They're all saying, hi, Alicia! <laughs> um, we walked into your, is it a motorhome or a fifth wheel? What's it called? It's a fifth wheel. Yeah, a motorhome is the one fifth you wheel. drive. And then a fifth wheel are ones you tow. Okay. Here, do you want here? You don't want here. At least she doesn't care. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys have a fifth wheel, but it's like a full-on house. Yes. Yeah, yeah. when we <laughs> oh, no. were looking, we were looking at motor homes, and they were kind of mm -hmm. like, uh, they were smaller or older because uh, they're more expensive because they have like an mm -hmm. engine. And then we walked into a fifth wheel and we we're like, oh my God, Taylor, like you can live in this. And so uh, we immediately changed our mind and started looking for something that's more of a house than a car. Yes. Okay. Which was a very smart idea because you guys, I, I walked into your fifth wheel and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is huge. And it has how many pullouts? Yes. Five open slide extenders? Yeah, five slide outs. Yeah, it's yep. definitely, it was nicer than our first apartment, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Which is crazy. And how long have you guys been together for? How long have you, how long have you been married for? Well, actually, what's today? In like two weeks, it's going to be our five-year wedding anniversary. Well, but 10 years together. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's <laughs> so exciting. You. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Okay, and so... It, Alicia, do you want to ask some questions? <laughs> Alicia was reading a book. I'm interrupting her. She's like, no, I don't want... She, Alicia has the questions from the people that brought up questions in the box, but I also have the question box here, too. Um, okay. I have some, too. Okay, do you want to pick one? Yeah. Go for it, Alicia. <laughs> she didn't even like the first question. Do you smell her? Have you been able to shower? <laughs> That's an us question more like than you guys. You guys are fine. <laughs> we actually um, showered, we showered today. <laughs> we actually like did the whole. Did, so did we. We did the City Connect. Um, we were at actually a full hookup site last night. And we did the City Connect and we were able to shower this morning and it was awesome. Oh, nice. I'm glad you figured it out. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah, thank you, by the way, for people that don't know, Ray and Jason really helped me out. Um, I think we had propane leaking when we met you. Um, we had this, we, we did not know to turn the water heater off while we were driving. We also drove away with the, with our slide extended. Um, Alicia doesn't want me to tell people, but I just told everyone. So there's we have, we've definitely yeah. improved our game. We we win the most improved award. Um, and today we actually got to shower. I think it's only been my third shower since we've been on vacation. <laughs> That's okay. That okay, happens. ready? Question for Ray and Jason. What is it? Give it to me. What are some of the habits that you guys have developed after living in an RV? What? Oh, sorry. I'll have to say it again. My... When is the question? Uh, Jason has a time limit on his phone, so it, like, turned off Instagram. <laughs> it said I've been on Instagram for too long today. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> so what was the question again? What What have you develop, developed? What habits have you developed after living in an RV? Habits? What habits have you developed after living in an RV? Are there, I guess, any good habits, bad habits? Um, 
I'd have to say we're a lot more conservative with like resources or water Ooh. and power. So I've noticed that when we're at visiting friends or family mm -hmm. and we're in their house, like I'm always turning off lights. I'll, I'll turn on the faucet for like a second to wash something. So yeah. like it's a good habit, I think. Yeah. I, a lot more. Money. Mm -hmm. We, we save a lot more money now. Um, yeah. yeah. Just because I don't know. You're just thinking about it more. Yeah. Um, bad habits. <laughs> I think it's not our being, it's like working for ourselves. Yeah. Um, or just, we drank more. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did a lot with you guys. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a yeah. bad one. Um, I love that though. So you're more um, conscious of the money you're spending and the energy you're wasting and the water you're wasting and like all that. That's great. I mean, that's a great positive habit, good habit. I don't think drinking is a bad habit. Well, I mean, obviously, just casually. Um, okay, another question, Alicia? Yeah. There was another thing in there too that was like, which you just, I think, brought up, which was... Um, you guys have been good with money and it's like a lot of people are asking is it really I mean I'm only doing it short term so it feels like I'm kind of being a little more wasteful because I'm learning so much and so I'm spending money where I'm like oh I guess I didn't need to do that and do this but for you guys do you feel it's cheaper to live the RV life than it is to live the like apartment or house life yeah I mean it definitely can be so I, the difference I think between like your trip and our lifestyle right now is you're still on vacation so when we started, we spent a lot of money because it felt like a vacation. And then we realized well, this is not mm. sustainable. So we have some people that are able to get their monthly budget down to less than a thousand dollars. But I, you know, I think or to average a couple thousand dollars a month. And if you buy used and you pay off your RV and you can pay off your truck, you're getting rid of payments left and right. So yeah, great. it's, it's kind of interesting. You you can spend as much money as you want, or you can spend pretty much as little as you want. Um, there's plenty of free things to do, and you're more likely to go hiking, like, right there versus, you know, and we come from Angeles, so, you know, we're used to, like, super expensive to now we're in Idaho, and it's uh, for camping free. You guys, free. So yeah, I cannot is... believe that was something that I, I went and had dinner the other night, I mean, all, we did the social distancing and everything was very, like, um, safe. But there was a restaurant that allowed us to sit inside and eat. And the bill for two of us came out to $32. Yeah. We got a pitcher of Me beer and Alicia in were shocked. Yes. Yeah. We got a pitcher of beer in Idaho for $8. <laughs> like, that's crazy. A <laughs> What'd you say, Alicia? <laughs> Oh, and we ordered so many. Yeah, we ordered so many things. We didn't just order like food for two people. I don't know if you saw the picture. Yeah. We ordered like every fry <laughs> they had on the menu. I was like, I don't know if I want hash brown, sweet potatoes, French fries, or um, what was the last one? And pie. And we ordered, it was crazy. Anyways, so yes, for all of us, it's like coming from LA, we're like, what? That's so, it's so much less expensive than LA. Um, that's great to know though. And I think that gives a lot of people like kind of hope if you want to or, like really RV is that it, you can do it. And what you guys really showed me, which I didn't know about was boondocking and like finding um, land that you can, that you can park on overnight for free. It doesn't necessarily have hookups, but if you're smart about how you do things and you know how to do things, you don't need the hookups. Correct. Right. Yeah. And that took us uh, two years to finally like go boondocking mm -hmm. ourselves. And then, our yeah. friends drug us out and they're like, you can do it. It's so simple. Cause like we have a bigger RV it was scary driving down like a dirt road. Like we couldn't turn around or something, mm -hmm. but the second we did it, we're like, Oh, this is awesome. And I mean, you saw the place we're at now, like right on a lake mm -hmm. and it's free and it's, just, it's a good time. Beautiful. That's why this isn't an actual yes. spot. We'd be able to stay overnight, but we drove by and we're like, this is pretty. Let's see if we have Wi-Fi here. <laughs> we as that's our third time stopping here because <laughs> just so you guys know we went into <laughs> idaho and then we decided to go back into montana because we missed it so much <laughs> montana's a great state so this yeah we really except for the signs we don't understand any of the signs did you guys have that issue too with the signs you're probably like what is she talking about what signs? What do you mean? Yeah, what kind of signs? 
So, like, in general, like, give me, like, one of the billboards said, beef takes work, get to work. And one of the other signs said, <laughs> Sundays is for the, like, T-shirt. Sundays for the C-I-N-N-A-S. And we assume they meant cinnamon rolls. There's a lot of weird sayings here that we don't know what they mean. I don't know if I've experienced that yet. Or did you guys know in Montana, haven't you? <laughs> Good, so it's not we just passed us. Through, we, we, yeah, no. we, we, we just jetted through on like the, the top of Montana heading towards Glacier. So we haven't spent a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Okay. How did, now, you guys didn't take, oh, uh, because you have the truck attached to the fifth wheel. So you guys were able to take the truck truck up to Glacier. Yeah, yeah, we, we took the truck uh, through Glacier, and I think it was, like, right at the max. And it was still a little scary since we – there was a couple, like, rock outcroppings You're just huge. that were a little, a little close for comfort. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is I need to bring my Prius to Glacier. Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> a good deal. <laughs> I'm going to see if there's any questions that were just submitted on the question box. Let's see if I can get them pulled up. Um, How do you guys get mail when traveling in the RV? Did that pop up? Yeah. Texas that scans our mail and we tell them if we want it shredded or forwarded. And then if we need like an Amazon package, most campgrounds will accept packages. They have Amazon lockers all over the place. You can actually get to Walgreens and FedEx. Mm -hmm. Amazon it we actually what did you say the name of the first company was Uh, mail forwarding service Mm -hmm. different states oh just a mail forwarding service okay oh I think you cut out on that one oh no I didn't hear you say the end of that one can you hear me Okay, good. Hold on. Um, let's. I'm trying to find more questions. Okay. What's the hardest part about living in an RV? <sighs> That's a good one. Decision fatigue. Mm-hmm. You uh, need to make a lot more decisions in your day to day life. Um, where should we go to eat? Where should we go to do yeah. something? Where should we go next? And it's. <laughs> it's just a lot like uh so you start to rely on apps more so like yelp for finding places to eat because we never know what what's around us or what's even good mm-hmm. and so you're just constantly overwhelmed with making decisions and so like even it's you know such uh non problems for most people but it's like well where should we go next mm-hmm. week should right. we go down to the tetons <laughs> or should we go up to montana and so you think about these things and then you just get overwhelmed and you don't make any decisions. That makes complete sense. I mean, me and Alicia get stressed out just trying to figure out where we're going to go next, but we've gotten to the point where like, it's much more, it's much better if we're just spontaneous. Like we just get in the car and start driving. Right, Alicia? Yeah. It was outside of Thompson Falls and we just pulled up to it because we knew we loved this area when we drove back to Montana and we pulled up to him like, do you have a spot available? And he's like, yeah, it's got full hookups though, but, but it, yeah, it's a little more expensive, but do you guys want it? And we're like, uh, yes, we'll have it full hookups for two nights. Um, unfortunately we were actually contemplating even staying there for the fourth. Like you said, it gets so packed, but, um, they don't aren't available for the fourth. So we're actually kind of a little nervous the next two days where we're going to stay, but we're being spontaneous. Yay. You'll most Cracker like barrel. boondocking <laughs> the next two days. <laughs> she, Ray said we'll most likely be boondocking the next two days. Yeah, we figured. We actually had to do... No, is it illegal to park your RV and sleep on it on the side of the road? Depends on the state. Because we did that too. <laughs> you can look at the state laws, and some states allow you to use them okay. and spend the night in their rest stops. Okay. Okay. 
we have to look it up place by place. So there was a night in Bozeman where we we're like, it's already 11 o'clock. We plan on getting up at six. We're passing out on the side of the road. But it was so it was so weird because it felt like we were being like we were gonna get in trouble at any time. Yeah. 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 It it definitely happens. They call it stealth camping. You're just trying to like blend in or yeah. which yes, and try not to make as much noise as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let me see if I can get. I can't get that picture. That one question to go away. Um. <laughs> that we. Uh. Let's see. What's your guys' favorite place so far? That's just my random question. Do you guys have a favorite place so far? I think we've, I've asked you this. That was? Or what place most enchanted you is a question. Oh, oh enchanted. Um, yes, enchanted that, you. Yeah, that word specifically makes me think of the Redwoods in Northern California. Like that place feels <gasps> really magical. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, that Anything makes, else? oh, hi. There's the, there we go. <laughs> what about you, Jason? Redwoods as well? Are we allowed? That was a sound motorhome. <laughs> so enchanting Redwoods, absolutely. This is Savannah, Georgia. Mm. I really like that. Not necessarily enchanting, but oh, definitely spooky mm -hmm. and our vibe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to find more questions and I'm trying to get that question box off of your face, but it's I'm failing miserably, guys. <laughs> <laughs> did you now you guys said you wanted to travel was it solely just because yeah stand, sit above sit above the question box yeah. so i can see your faces <laughs> or on my end am i on the bottom which version yeah. for us yeah <laughs> yes perfect <laughs> 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 there we go now i can see your face is so much yes yes so much better okay i'm getting up and kind of showing the view around here too make sure i don't fall off a cliff guys okay, okay. there's the motorhome in the background and alicia reading her book and me in the weeds um have you guys ever gotten injured by the way while you've been traveling yet yes <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Uh, so we got new e-bikes and we were taking them for a ride and we were looking through some new construction houses in Michigan. Um, oh, you guys just, love Michigan. Yeah. Northern it Michigan. Was like, it was this beautiful new place. These houses were like million dollar houses. Um, and Ray went into one and she's like, you have to go into this other one and like check it out. And so I go in. And I step on the porch and it has like a big piece of plywood on it. And we're like, oh, it's not nailed down. Oh. So we go, we walk through the rest of the house and then we're like, that's cool. And I step out and I step on the edge of the plywood and it goes up like this and I fold over it. Into the porch. Yeah. <laughs> so I bruise my ribs. That's <laughs> it's nothing to do with our being. That's yeah. just But at least it was just bruised. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but I that's part of it. I mean, at least you didn't that. break anything. Yeah. <laughs> The stairs yeah. inside the trailer, exactly. or the stairs going out to the outside. No, it's inside the top stair. We have uh, I cleaned the RV. If you want to have like a little rig tour, but I um I slipped down the top of the stairs and I, I bruised, do like both my elbows and my tailbone. <laughs> yeah, if you wear we don't wear socks in our RV anymore. No, no. <laughs> oh, was it because of the socks? Because you guys have that carpet right there, right? Yeah, it was like carpet, and then you step yeah, down do you the want stairs, it? or like Slip. just more slippery. Yeah. Do you want to give us a little tour? Sure. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm gonna disconnect you here. Hold on. I will. Still <laughs> wish I could get rid of the box, but you know, can't get rid of the damn box. Why can't I get rid of the box, guys? <laughs> That's so funny. It's it's red on our side. Does that mean anything? Okay. It's oh what? My. It's on your I'm side too? the camera around. Oh my goodness. No, nope, if I can't. Okay. 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 I love this. <laughs> so but I want this box door. to go away, guys. <laughs> I'm like contemplating, do I just we restart? No, on our okay. Side. Show us, show. What the heck? Do you want, we can restart. I hate when technology is not my friend, guys. Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on. Let me try one last thing. Okay. Nope. 
That didn't work. Okay, give us the tour. Top. Okay. Is that? that? Yeah, no. (laughs) We're trying to get rid of it on it. Okay. You want the tour? Yeah, let's go. Oh, good. Yes, I want the tour. Just try to hold everything above the box. (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) here. And then. Okay. (laughs) Um. So the view. So this is our office space, and it's a little messy. <laughs> and then here's our kitchen. Fridge, organized fridge, stove. Like we have everything we need in here, you know. <laughs> it's insane. It's a house. You guys have and, a house. And then this is wheels. our living room <laughs> with our insane views of the lake. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And then there's like a, t- a TV comes up here. And then our fireplace. Obviously, we don't need it right now. <laughs> um, those are extra sheets. We have a friend coming tonight. But we have a lot of seating. Here. <laughs> there's our dog. Carmen, say hi. The reason, the reason you decided to stay in the United States in RV, right? Yes, exactly. You can't get them this big anywhere else. The oh, the dog. Yes, our reason. <laughs> and then, yeah. Sure. You don't have to. It's messy, but that's our pantry. <laughs> no, but it's perfect. Like, look at all the space you have, though. It's insane. When I, I walked into that, I was like, and again, a fifth wheel, you guys were telling me, is essentially less expensive than buying, like, a motorhome or an RV that has the engine in it. Yes. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Which, which is crazy to me because you guys are basically just pulling a house behind you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't think I even saw that when I was there. <laughs> Fun stuff. For Jason. <laughs> Here's our bathroom, <laughs> but we did laundry today, so we have some clothes. <laughs> but it's okay. And you guys have a washer yeah, and dryer so in sure. your fifth wheel, right? We have the hookups for it, but we don't have one. We go to the laundry mat, so there's the full bathroom. <laughs> oh, see, so you mad today. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> I was doing and a poor connection. Right, there we go. We're back. Oh, okay, good. Good. It's then... so crazy how much room you have. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's a king size bed. Yeah. Then... So that's a motor home. The bug around me. <laughs> well, we still have all of Which now we're starting oh, yeah. to understand. So Which what me and Alicia are driving is an R V. Uh huh. I like the closets too. I didn't see you guys had all that closet space. Jeez. So- yeah. Huh. <laughs> like, oh, a little bit over. He's showing you more. <laughs> shoe storage. A shoe storage in the back. <laughs> oh, bless you. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So, that, like, everything falls under the category of RV, and then you break it down between there. So that's where you get into like towables and drivers, and then they each okay. have their own names from there. <laughs> Which I can't keep up with. But so the thing you just showed me outside the window was a motor home, and it's like the whole front of it is flat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's called a Class A motor home. Okay. <laughs> then what is this baby called, a.k.a. Big Bertha? <laughs> that is a Class C motor home. Okay. So with our little slide out, Class C. <laughs> Just giving a little tour of our yep. little four winds over here. What'd you say, Alicia? Yeah. Do you guys want to see the inside of ours? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. I'm going to take you guys off of it and then re-request you guys back into the live so I can get this damn box off your face. It's driving me crazy. I'll be right back, <laughs> okay? Sounds good. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> Oh, that damn box, guys. Now it's gone. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to take you guys into the inside. It's connecting. <laughs> Hi! Hi! <laughs> and magically the box is gone. That was Perfect. so annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have done that when you were giving the tour because that would have, you know, been nice. <laughs> Alicia, you want to help with the tour? Sure. Okay, Alicia's going to help me with the tour. Oh, do you want to right, hear? Sure. Now you can hear. Okay. Alicia couldn't hear this whole time. Hi, Alicia. Can you hear? <laughs> okay. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> okay, Alicia, do you want to point and say what things are? Well, this is this is it. Couch here. here. <laughs> we can't hear her. Oh, they can't hear you. Oh. You can hear them though, right? Okay. I'll, I'll reiterate what she's saying. This pipe slides out. I like that we're just doing this. This is where we drive. Uh huh. Oh, hey, I have an idea. You I can like do this. There we out. go. This is where we drive. <laughs> <laughs> and Alicia, yeah, sleep. I sleep up here. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not opening that. It's just a mess up there. But that's where I sleep. That's my little. My little. Uh, I don't know what you call it. No. I even have a safety buckle. And this is where Alicia sleeps. <laughs> I just, now that, now that I'm pointing out where we sleep on camera, it seems really weird. <laughs> like Alicia's got back there and that's where I sleep, right up there. <laughs> it is spacious when you get up there. Hold on, let's see what we got. It's not too bad. It's my bed. No, that's fine. She can sleep here, or she can sleep here. So this folds into a bed, too. That also turns into a bed. Yes. But she insists on sleeping in the attic. Listen, I got comfortable. Originally, I was like, oh, no, that makes sense. I'll sleep up there. And it is a little uncomfortable. But now it's like my home. Yeah. And I, like, crawl into it at night like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I come out in the morning. Um, anyways, that was our little tour. Do you sleep with the curtain closed up there? I do, yes. Oh, yeah. Just a little corner of the RV. Like <laughs> well, it's kind of creepy because when you realize where it is you're sleeping, like I'm sleeping in, in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that weirds me out a little bit. Do you look out your window? It. I don't have to, but I made a thing out of it. Do I look out my window and what, Jason? Do you look out your window when you're sleeping? Like you... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That night when I was on the street or a couple nights when I've been like, what's that noise? Like, I'll, like, <laughs> open up the window. But it's super loud, too. And because, as you guys know, we don't know how to stabilize an RV every time I move up there. <laughs> the whole motorhome moves. So I try to, like, <laughs> lay, like, a log so I don't make any movement. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sad they can't hear you. I know. I took both back. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, do you have any? Do we have any other questions, Alicia? We want to ask. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. Let's see. Oh, of course. Of course. It's been freezing, by the way, the last like two days. I don't know how it's been there. And all of a sudden, um, I start this live, and the sun decides to come out, and I'm sweating with my jacket on. Why does it always happen that way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been really cold here. <laughs> Very cold. Has it been? Yeah, it's been freezing here, and all of a sudden, the sun just came out. Alicia just asked another question that was asked is, have you guys ever RV'd outside of the U.S.? I know you guys were originally going to do that before RVing, but did you guys actually ever get a chance to RV outside of the United States? Well, we were actually in Mexico at the beginning of this year, and then we were That's with right. a tour group, and then um, the pandemic hit, so we came back to the country. But that's a big, we want to go to Canada and we want to, we New want to Zealand, RV, yeah, RV. Iceland, yeah. I really want to go to Iceland, yeah, we'd love to RV. Anyway. But how do you, you guys wouldn't take your fifth, you guys wouldn't take your fifth wheel with you guys though, right? Or would you? No. No, no not a cross country. We would just rent. Or across yeah. the pond. <laughs> <laughs> You have to let me know when you want to do that because I want to do the whole RV. 
which just sounds awesome and not like overwhelming. I've heard it's like 14 days or something to get around the whole island. 14 days what? The, de <laughs> the delay was so long <laughs> that your faces, I was just watching you guys do this. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, oh, no. We're going to definitely have to do this in the future again when, when I have, and both of us have really good Wi-Fi. Um, I said uh, doing yeah. Iceland. I really want to do Iceland. That, that seems to be like a doable yeah. one where you could do it in like 14 days. Yes, that's yeah. what we've heard. Yeah. The, the whole ring road. Yeah, it looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really want to do that. Um, was there any other questions, Alicia? Alicia's in charge of questions because I made a mistake and put the box to ask questions like two days in advance. So I couldn't view those questions. And now our issue is if I click on any questions that are happening right now, I'm going to get a box in your face. <laughs> Got it. What? Okay. Lozanari. So Lozanari from Brazil. Oh, Lozanari. Wait, what's her name? We're gonna, we have to say um, happy birthday. I think you saw it too. Lozanari, did you see that one? Lozanari saying happy birthday to Lozanari? Yes, yeah. yeah, on July 4th? Yeah, I mean, we're a little early, we're two days before, but we'll say happy birthday, Lozanari. Yes, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy so birthday. <laughs> that is exciting. I always like it when we get to these shout outs and happy birthdays. Yeah. Um, any other questions you guys can think of or anything you guys want to specifically discuss about RV life? I mean, the, the conversations can be endless. You got, you have both shown me and taught me so much before I went traveling, during traveling, and when I met up with you guys and I'm still learning. So. I know. Yeah. Real quick. That reminds me, we got um, a DM from someone asking for a shout out. So I, believe it's pronounced Angie. <laughs> so we wanted to do that. And she was a big fan. I wanted to just say, hey, Angie. <laughs> and it was Angie. Yeah. What's up, Angie? I think so. Um, but so cool. I love it when we get to do shout outs. I really do love it. <laughs> yes. So as far as RV life, I think one of the other questions was like, how did you get the courage to do this? And I really liked that question because I was so scared. And now that we've done it, I just, we recommend it to everyone. And I know some people are thinking about wanting to do it and it, that fear that is so hard to get over. So we just tell people if you want to do it, like what's the worst yeah. that can happen? You go back to your old life. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. yeah. Most people, I mean, for you, I don't think you can hit the road full time and, and come back to your your job. But most people don't have that problem. They can um, they can pick up where they they left off if they ever go back. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, even for me though, I remember being scared. Like I brought it up as like an idea. I was like, I've got to get out of LA. Like I, you know, it's it's great to be in my house and to you know have the people I know around me but like with everything going on in LA being shut down and everything I was like I just need to reconnect with wilderness <laughs> with like the wilds and um it was scary though like the idea of like getting an RV and then like getting on the road and not having any idea where to go and like I haven't RV'd since I was maybe 12 so I was I was also scared and like I knew it wasn't gonna be for long term but it is it is um intimidating because there's so many things you do have to learn and I swear like ev I'm still learning but every time it's so frustrating like Oh, it's, there's so many <laughs> little things that I'm like, oh, how do I still not know this? Yeah. Um, but, but nothing beats waking up in the wild. Like nothing beats it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that does remind me. We did just come out with uh, our friends who are also full-time RVers called rvmasterclass.com. That's right. Uh, and it's kind of a, a learning platform for, for learning to RV. Uh, so we only have, we have three of courses that we made. And one is how to buy an RV uh, because we had never bought an RV and didn't understand the process. Like you pay for it and then 
come back and pick it up and you do something called a PDI to make sure like there's nothing broken. And it's like, it's kind of a convoluted, it's not the same as buying a car. So anyways, we did a course on that and how to negotiate and, and wins the buy. Uh, we did a course on boondocking because we love boondocking and uh, not everyone has friends like us that forced us to go out in the middle of the desert and try it. Or even so knows what of, boondocking uh, is. I, I know. Yeah, it's, it's True. exactly. So it's, it's, um, so of course it just covers everything you need to know in boondocking. Mm -hmm. And uh, our final, we call them signature courses uh, is called preparing to full time because well, it's not hard to go full time. There's definitely a lot of things to think about. Like if you want to sell your house, hit out, or if you want to change states uh, or domicile, which is what they call it, changing domicile. It's not something I ever heard because <laughs> we had never changed domicile before. And it's just like what your like state is, where you pay your taxes. So the pros and cons to that, like we became Texans yeah, because, uh, there's no reason for us to pay state income tax California since we don't live in California yeah. and Texas doesn't have state income tax and my sister lives there. So it's kind of, <laughs> that's where we go. So. No way. This is awesome. And this is part of the masterclass. You discuss that topic as well. Yeah. Yeah. We cover, we cover as, as much as we could pretty much anything that we can remember that kind of scared <laughs> us or uh, I, you know, I take lots of notes. So all the stuff that when we were, preparing to go full-time, the things that we did, we, we kind of just marked that stuff down and covered. It's an online course, and so I'm sure we'll be adding more to it as uh, people ask us additional questions. Yeah. Please do, but everyone should definitely check it out. I mean, we had some internet connection issues, so I wonder how much they caught from this, but if anything, I hope that they take away from it is that you guys have an amazing YouTube channel, which is Getaway Couple, correct? Yep. Correct, yeah. And then, and then the RV Masterclass, which I'll like share links in a story and stuff. Some people know to go um, to those, but if they're interested or at least in wanting to inquire about what it would take to RV, because like, I know you guys have been doing it three years now and it feels like from what I've seen, you guys have no regrets about that. And I've just been doing it for a little over two weeks and I wish I could do it full time. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I just wanted to also, and uh, my little sister sent me a message and said that, her birthday is on July 4th. Where's her birthday shout, shout out? So happy birthday, That's Libby. That's right, Libby. Happy birthday, Libby. <laughs> happy birthday, Libby. Libby. I mean, her birthday is Liberty Bell. Like, of course, we have to give Libby yeah. a yeah. shout out for birthday. Hopefully, I'll even see. She's in Seattle, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I might have to just see her because I don't think I'll see Macy, but I'll have to try to see Libby while I'm in Seattle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Any other questions that you had, Alicia, on the list? Any other ones? I think we covered them all. We covered the questions? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Do you guys, anything else? I'll make sure to post links to all of this stuff, the RV Masterclass and the Getaway Couple and stuff, because people definitely need to check it out if they're interested. But is there any, it got so sunny, I can't see now. Jeez. <laughs> One thing about Mother Nature is you can't control anything. <laughs> ever no. <laughs> yeah well this was fun i don't think we have anything else um if, if anyone has any other rv related questions feel free to hop on over out shoot us a dm or you know we love helping people yeah we're here for anyone who needs it <laughs> Yes, and I may be also reaching out to you about some other things <laughs> that I need help with. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me for the live. And thank you for all your help and for letting me chill with you guys for two days outside of Yellowstone. I had an absolute blast getting to catch up and drink and talk about all things RV. And here's Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> we loved seeing you. Oh. I had a blast. Well, have a great day, and maybe we'll do this again if I get people saying that their connection was really bad. Maybe we'll try again when we when I when we can try to get better connection. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds, sounds good. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, <laughs> I Bye guys. Gotta, gotta leave. You have to make us leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't see anything. Alicia, did you want to say or continue anything about our travels? It's very hard to see, though.
just can't wait to see where we wind up next. We have no plan today, so we're going to figure it out. Because people have been asking a lot of, I can't see facing this way, though. I can't see anything. Can you? I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I wanted to pull up a couple. <laughs> oh, I wanted to try to, I think my phone is actually overheating. I wanted to pull up a couple questions, too, um, just about what we've been doing here. And, yes, I just saw a comment that said um, that Ray and Jason are a lovely couple. And, yes, they are with their dog, Carmen. We had an absolute great time getting to connect with them. Um, and you guys should definitely follow their page. They helped me and Alicia so much before we started going on this trip. And then when we got to meet up with them, they also helped with a lot of things that we were doing wrong. So, uh, definitely follow them if you're interested in RVing at all. I have no regrets about taking this trip. This was has been an absolutely life-changing experience just to get out and be with nature. I agree. Um, and to take Alicia agrees if you didn't hear her. I can't see what the phone is looking at, so I hope I'm somewhere in the frame. That's better to look out there. It is better to look out here. I hope you guys can see it because I can't see anything on the phone. And like I said with them, Mother Nature is something you can't control. So between it getting hot and my phone overheating, <laughs> internet not working, uh, things... Uh, are definitely out of my hands but we're having an absolute blast uh thank you guys so much for liking all the pictures and for i'm trying to put up as much as i can whenever i get wi-fi with the help of maddie um to get stuff out there and i was really happy to do this live with uh, jason and ray because they are so knowledgeable and such amazing people um but yeah we have been very spontaneous a couple people asked too if we had a plan we did not we knew we wanted to go to zion and bryce at the beginning of the trip and that's where we started and then after that, it kind of just, we knew we wanted to go to Yellowstone, but we weren't in a rush to get to Yellowstone. Um, and we kind of just took a route. And then along the way, we surprisingly ran into friends and met up with people. We just backtracked. We went to Idaho and came back into Montana because we loved Montana so much. And now we're heading back uh, west again. So we'll see. We're going to hop into the RV and see where it takes us today. Um, a lot of that has to do with where we actually can stay. There have been some nights where we'll pull into RV uh, parks and they're like, no, we're completely booked. And that's where actually one of my posts about Woodruff Narrows Reservoirs, where we ended up because we went to four different campsites on Father's Day weekend and couldn't get into a single one. So uh, we ended up at, yep, we ended wound up in Woodruff Narrows Reservoir and it was absolutely stunning. A little scary to drive into at 11 o'clock at night. I remember being like, Alicia, Alicia, I don't know where we are. I can't see anything. There's supposed to be water here, but I can't see. Um, and she was asleep. So she's like, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then we woke up and I was in awe. And that was the video I posted on my page. So thanks so much for following along with the travels, um, with all of our travels and spontaneousness and anything you want to leave with? No. Just to get back on the road right now. Right? Yes. I hope, yeah. Maybe we'll make it to Washington. Um, and also I wanted to shout out to Barrett Doss and make sure you guys all know that we are, um, as a cast, the cast of uh, Station 19 is doing a social justice movement that was put together by Barrett and Jason um, uh, called 19 for 20. And today at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Barrett is going live to follow up on what Alberto started on Monday about systemic racism. So definitely tune in to Barrett's live today at 5 p.m. Um, for a great conversation that she'll be having and I'll be doing one for 19 for 20 in a couple weeks as soon as I get back and I'm very excited I'm so proud to be part of the cast and to be part of that movement and yeah so tune in and thanks again everyone for tuning into this live I had a blast and I'll continue to share some photos with you yeah Alicia's like bye <laughs> bye everyone Mwah.